is the fifth seed in Division I power rankings. Natick is the 13th seed. Started to have a few upsets this year. Uh, number one seed in the Division I just fell this afternoon. To, oh, uh, really? To Lincoln Sudbury? Lincoln Sudbury lost to King Philip 2-1. to one. Okay. Anything can happen. It's tournament time. So I think we did have a common opponent with Natick this year, Dover Sherborne, correct? That's right. They played them twice, actually, I think. Natick played them twice and won both games 3-1. to one. We, you know, uh, we were 6-2 <two> over two. Dover Sherborne. So this should be a fun field hockey game. And Coach Smith has her regular starters out there. So we're uh, going near side left is Kendall Regan, Bryn Connolly, Ryan Brodigan just started the ball off, captain, senior captain, and Gigi Mastrangelo on the far side, the right side of attack. She's got the ball now. Midfield we have Nina Sheth Boss, sophomore Mackenzie Clark, center mid. Number three, we'll be saying her name a lot tonight. Captain and Mia Smith, freshman over there on the far side with the ball now, number five. She gives it back to Neve Lesnick on the far side, defender on the right side. We got Anna Hopkins, center back, senior captain, and Elsie Lakin Schultz, 23, who's at midfield right now. She'll be on the left, uh, left D. And Zoe Bruce, our freshman goalkeeper, who's done an outstanding job this year. Big game. We're starting it off with a corner. Oh, here we go. With a minute down. Let's go, Belmont. Oh, all right, they have G on the insert here. We got five on the circle, two backing up, with uh, McKenzie closest to GG. And receiving this ball. Nice hard drive. Good save by the goalie. Good play. They called advantage there. It went off of a, there we go. Went off of a Natick foot on that save. That was a hard save by the goalie. But it found a foot of the Natick player. So we're going to try again. So that's Elsie second in. Bryn Connolly. Ryan Brodigan. And I think that's Kendall Regan on the far side. That's a dangerous play there. If you miss a ball and somebody's close by, they'll uh, they'll call that dangerous. If she hit the ball, oddly enough, it wouldn't be. So Nate came in with a record of 13-4 and two so far. Regular season 12-4 and two. Had some tough matchups. They uh, had a 0-0 tie against Walpole pretty late in the season. Looked like Walpole had the ball in the offensive zone quite a bit, but the defense uh, buckled down at the end and kept him out of the net. Did you get to watch that game? I did. Um, I did I did get to see that game. That was a fun game to watch. Uh, I'm expecting Natick to be quick on the transition up the lines. That was off a red stick. Kendall's going to keep it in. Belmont ball. Nina sends it back to Elsie. Mia got to move. Step up. That's a foot. There we go. Mia's going to defer here to McKenzie. Just inside the 25. Ooh, Ooh, just right outside on, the circle. Right on just the edge. outside. So Mackenzie will take this ball. We'll have to move it sideways or backwards five yards before she can enter the circle. Oh, nice. Get it. They're calling a penalty. I don't know if they call that a dangerous ball. McKen I'm not sure. They, they did not signal. They just signaled possession. Mackenzie ended up on the ground, so I don't know if she got a shove.
And Hopkins steps up there. Nice poke. It's going to be white ball on the sideline. So that's Belmont in white and Nadick in red. Elsie's going to take this off the sideline. Belmont ball. Belmont ball. If it pops up high off a, another player's stick, it's, uh, it's going to be a penalty on the player who tipped it last. Yeah, good job, Anna. Way to be there. She was right there, put her stick in there, and ended up being a penalty on, on Natick. Elsie's taking up the left sideline here. That's good. It's white ball here. That's good. I like that play. Nina dropped back, too, to cover. They're calling that a that ball popped up off her stick, so they're calling that a penalty on on Nadek. It wasn't a sideline ball. Got her. Oh, got a good ball there. Come on, kid. Anna's going to take her turn. She's got room. Try to find a foot. Nadek did a good job of getting out of the way of that one. There you go, Nina. Good job good coming job, to it, Nina. You could let them play that one, ref. Okay. Out on Nadek, white ball. Kenzie will take it on the sideline. Let's find some space here, Belmont. She tries to get it through, intercepted there. Mackenzie hustles back. They're gonna call that a penalty there. That's okay, it stops a run. Wide, wide, wide. Talk, guys. There we go. Finds Bryn. Good ball here, Bryn. Come on. Nice defense there. McKenzie takes it, throws it out to the right. And Nadek pushes it out. I think Nadek got a stick on that. I think she was trying to feed G on the right. Yep. Natick free ball at midfield on the far side. Can't handle that, goes out of bounds and it'll be Belmont ball. It's Neve Lesnick back there. Intercepted, right to the middle, there we go. Nice job, Anna. Coach Smith has a substitution. Bryn Conley coming out, Nora Dolan going in. Construction there on Natick, and it'll be Belmont ball. Looks like Natalie Marrow's is going to go in as well. Nice aerial there. Handle it. Good job, Nora. Come on, Kendall. All the way. Push it. There we go. Elsie steps up on the clear. Gets it wide to Mia. Backhand in. Nice catch there by G and wins a corner there. Good job. <coughs> nice, nice movement there to get that into the circle. And uh, Gigi did, did a nice job of coming back for that pass. So see if we can't pay it off with 6.40 to go in the first quarter. Tied 0-0. And so you have here on the corner, you have four Natick defenders in the net or on the end line. And they're calling a false start on Kendall. So you got to wait for the ball to be hit before you can enter the circle. Semi-circle, it's about 20 yards out, 18, 18 yards out. To McKenzie, that's interference. And another corner. Another corner. That was outside the circle, but um, 
it is within the ref's discretion to award another corner there. So uh, Nadek has four defenders in the net, and Kendall Regan is back at her spot there. Again to McKenzie. Makes a move. Bounces. And it hits Dangerous the... Dangerous ball. Dangerous ball. It bounced off the turf, caught the native player in the thigh, so... Nice interception there. Stay on it. Stop that ball, Nadek. Oh, good stick, Elsie. Good stick by Elsie. Finds Kendall on the left. Crowded over there. Down the line, there we go. Let's go, Nora. Oh, nice defense. Stay on it. They call that third party there, I think. Number 40 wasn't on the ball. Uh, the defender, I think that's 19 was, but 40 prevented Kendall from getting in there. So Mackenzie's gonna take this free ball, pass it back to Elsie. He's gonna take it to the end line. Gets it in. Nice job. Shot good shot, good save. Hoping somebody would get their uh, stick on it and the goalie just pushed it out wide. So it'll be a Belmont ball coming in from the 25. We're supposed to take it out right where it went out. So that was just off the post. So they made her scoot it closer to uh, midline. That was, ref thought about calling something. That's going to be Belmont ball. It popped on the up off the Natick stick. McKenzie takes the end line. Natick throws it out. That'll be Belmont ball. Coming in for Belmont. Everybody, uh, everybody's inside the 20 yard line. There are no attack for Natick who are hanging back deep. Red ball. Red ball. Quick start here. Good job, good job. Good finder, coverage. finder, finder, finder. Natalie tries to get it to Kendall. Doesn't oh, nice connect. move by Natick. We have to bring that ball back. So it looks like they're playing, uh, at least on the, on the roster we have, and it, appears to be. They're obviously pushing one of these midfielders up, but I think they're playing with two attack and five midfielders. So what they're doing is they've put number 17 on McKenzie. She has not turned her back from McKenzie the whole game yet. I believe she's a midfielder. Yes. Belmont ball. Good job, Anna. Anna stepped up there, kept it from going in the circle. And it's going to be native ball outside the circle. Deflected off of Anna's stick, I believe, and popped up. Bouncing ball towards Zoe. She kicks it high, but nobody was in the area, so not a dangerous ball there. Good, good, good. That's a Natick foot. There we go. Yep, coming out. Natick kicked it on the clear, so Belmont's going to restart at the 16. Oh, Anna, way to stick your head in there. That was a, a big swing, and Anna, Anna was right there to block it. We got one minute left in the first quarter. Oh, there we 
There we go. Oh, good. Uh, Nadek got it on that bouncing ball. Wide, good. wide, wide, wide. All right. Nice tackle by Anna. We had 35 seconds left in the first quarter. We got it deep. We, our goal here should be to get it on the other side of the field at least. Belmont ball. Oh. Let's see. Nope, Natick ball. I think the players just overturned the rest there. I think so. We have five seconds there left in go. the first. McKenzie's going to kill this on the sideline. That's it. 0-0 zero, zero after the first quarter. And Belmont's going to have the ball to start. Ryan gives it back to McKenzie. Oh, look at that. She's just face guarding her. Yeah. Telling you, she hasn't turned. She has not turned her back to her the entire time. Oh wow! Talking about number seventeen, you see uh, Mackenzie's at about the forty-five, and seventeen is not responsible for looking at the ball whatsoever. Just staring in Mackenzie's face. This is a Belmont ball. So on this one, uh, Mackenzie will take the ball on the sideline. She'll have to give her five yards there, so Mackenzie might be able to get some fresh air. <laughs> Nice move, sends it in. Uh, didn't get a touch. Coming out for Natick. <coughs> Look at that, she's, she's on offense now and she has her eyes locked on McKenzie. <laughs> and that's what happens. Belmont ball. We're going to have to get some uh, motion by the other players here for Belmont. We had it. We uh, Last game, we scored six goals. I think we had five different goal scorers. I think that's right. Goes back to Elsie on the far side. Oh, there you go. Give a corner on that yep. one. Yep. Yeah, they called obstruction. I think that was uh, the defender. Well, either obstruction or the defender throws it out on purpose on the end line. Uh, they're going to give that ball to, uh, they're going to ward a corner there. Where does 17 go here? Gigi taking it in. To McKenzie, over to Elsie, gets a shot off. There we go, come on. Gigi's on the post. Another corner. Another corner. Yep. Looks like they All just right. smothered that ball right in front of the goalie, so they took the corner. Good amount of fans here tonight, Andrew. Oh, yeah. We got a on nice, nice Natick section over here to our left, and there's some fans across the field as well. There we go, corner. So that's a goalie kicking it high. And uh, if it goes into a crowd of people, that will be a dangerous ball on the goalie save. So we're gonna do our uh, fourth corner of the game, third corner in a row here. This one goes to McKenzie as well. Finds G, all alone. Goalie kicks it out. That'll be Belmont ball. Oh, they're giving another, a corner. Another corner. Four in a row. One out of four would be nice. <laughs> this ball goes to McKenzie, makes a move. It, obstruction. There it is. Oh. Nice job. Boom. That was Good a job. missile from the top of the circle. Nice job, McKenzie. That was an advantage, too. It they was. They were going to call another corner. Threw her stick at McKenzie to try and stop her, and it, uh, McKenzie just ran through it and got a nice shot off. We go one nothing Belmont with 11 minutes, 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Four corners in a row is, uh, is tough. 
for a, for a defense for the fly and the trail to come out and chase these balls over and over again. Good Nate, job by Belmont cashing in the last one. Nate Brian. making a substitution at right mid. Come on, oh. quick, quick, quick. Got to get back. Bounds. Red ball. Oh, good job. Just outside the circle for a Natick free ball. All right, good job. That was assisted by Gigi on that, on the insert. Looking at the roster here, Andrew, I see a Mastrangelo on the Natick team as well. How do you feel about that? I love it. <laughs> That's nice. The more Mastrangelos, the better. <laughs> you only have three children, right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> Belmont ball, it was a foot. You have family on the Woburn team as well, right? We do. On yes. ice and field? Correct. Are they Mastrangelos? They are not. They're Decipi uh, Kennedy's on the other side. It was a long ball that wasn't, uh, nobody was in the circle to receive. And Natick's going to get the ball, went out on the end line. Oh, nice play by McKenzie. It's going to be a free ball at the 40 for Belmont. McKenzie will take this one. Hard hit. Trying to take out 17. She's not really trying to take her out. No. Uh, Those were two very hard balls by McKenzie. I think uh, 17 looks like she's coming out. Hopefully she's okay. Looks like uh, Mackenzie's going to get a new face guarder here. Belmont ball. That was Marin coming in, and we oh we got Caroline French in now. That's right, Caroline French in, up at attack. So it looks like she's left attack. Still uh, brought again on the right post. Gigi on the, on the far side, outer. And Kendall on the, uh, she's currently by the, the post, but she's playing outer on the left. There we go, come on. Some really nice defensive work by Natick over there on the far side of the field. Long ball, good stick by Anna in the middle of the field. She's going to take it up. They're going to give her the space. She's going to go. They played advantage there on that similar tackle to Anna that they did on McKenzie. Uh, that was a back of stick there. Brian charges as soon as she touched it. Made her get, a, get it away without a uh, big hit that she wanted. Here comes Gigi working towards the middle. Nice ball to Ryan there, turned the other way. Nina takes it, there you go, come on. Ryan's got it, top of circle, they're Another gonna, good Belmont. job. Way to bring it in, Ryan. So with seven minutes left, Belmont's gonna have probably their eighth corner of the first half. And one goal so far. Goes out to Mia. Throws it across. Be ready for that, Belmont. Let's go. Nice clear. 
They're going to turn this up the field. Neve does a great job intercepting that ball on the far sideline. Prevents a break from happening. If you can get the ball out of the circle quickly on, uh, on a circle for the other team, you can have a nice counter because so many people are up trying to take advantage of the penalty. Nice ball by McKenzie. Hit a foot it looked like. She was looking back at the ref. And we're gonna get a uh, Natick ball there, a Belmont violation in the circle. Squirts out to Mia. Anna comes over and gets a long ball. She threw it to herself to Elsie and Anna switch positions. So Anna, Elsie's taking center here. And they're gonna call that obstruction. Red she ball. She got that ball cleanly, it would have been okay, but took her stick out in the process. Natick's on the move right now. Good job, Nora. That's a foot. It's going to be a Belmont ball there. Big ball by McKenzie. Run it. Let's go. Gigi's defending over there. Get it cleanly at midfield. Good job, Neve. Neve steps in there and takes that ball back. Ball down the sideline to Mia. That'll be Belmont ball off of number seven for Natick. It's me on the sideline over there. Sends it back to Neve. Now Gigi on the far side. Natick ball. We're gonna let that go. It was from outside the circle, so no goal. That's like the ball went out on whoever touched it last. And that'll It'll be coming be. out with four minutes left in the second quarter. <coughs> change field over here. That's a shove there on Anna's back. No call there. All right, Natick has numbers here. Yeah, Natick found the ball. Can't get it through, Elsie's over there. Hits a one down the sideline, gets about to midfield. Natick's gonna restart with, at about the 45 with three minutes to go. Good was, ball by Elsie coming out. Right to Caroline French. That was a Natick foot, they didn't see it. There we go. Oh, come on. Stop that play. It was a clear foot on Natick, and they were playing advantage, but there were three Natick girls around her. Nice play, Natalie. Good ball. Good job. The two and a half minutes left. McKenzie's going to take this free ball. Going to find somebody far. She's got an aerial. Goes to Caroline French. Go, Caroline. Comes out to Natalie. Runs into a block tackle there by a uh, Natick midfielder. Brings it up the right sideline. Natalie's doing a good job yep. staying close. Natalie's on her horse to get back to it. McKenzie clears it out. Good job, Nora. She's bringing it close to the sideline here. Gets it to Natalie. 
she'll get it before the end the sideline. Keep going. All right, it'll be Belmont ball on the sideline. Elsie's going to take it with a minute and a half left in the in the half. Belmont needs to get this ball into the circle. Keep it in, Kendall. She does in the corner, and that's going to be white ball as well. Mackenzie's going to take this free ball. We're pushing up a little bit. We got all our defenders inside of the 50. See if we can't uh, finish this corner with a quarter with a. Oh, good job. Step up. Elsie's going to step up, take it in. No call there. We're under a minute. Nice trade off. A little cycling there. Good ball by Neve into the circle. That's going to go out. Let's go. Get that ball quick. Quick, Belmont. 35 seconds. 30 seconds Elsie's going to take this on the side. Let's see if she can't. Uh, she's going to bring it in. Big ball. Nice ball. Come on, Natalie. And with 15 seconds left, Natick's going to have a free ball, and they'll let this, this half end here with uh, Belmont up 1-0. And we're back for uh, second half, two 15-minute quarters after five. one nothing Belmont. Gonna be Natick ball. Caught Gigi's calf. Doesn't look like it's bothering her too much. A lot of people here on this near sideline. And they're gonna call that a dangerous ball there on seven. Should White be, ball. Should be up here. McKenzie's gonna take it. Looks like 17 is back in. I didn't see her get uh, any any help from the trainer, so I no, think that, she'll... that's good news. She did limp off, so it's good to see her back in the game. Oh wow, good fight, G. Foot. There we they go. Got it. White ball. All right. Mia's going to take this ball where the foul happened. Nope. Mackenzie's going to take it. G's going to go to the go to the circle. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yep. Another corner. Had a couple swings in there where they missed the ball and uh, dangerous plays. I think. I think so. There was a big swing from Red, right in front of the goalie. Let's get a big swing here from Belmont with a solid connection, find the back of the net. 13 minutes to go in the third quarter. Goes out to Mia, around to McKenzie. McKenzie has some space, low backhand drive. Stay really nice, stay really nice stop by Natick there. Did that make it all the way through to the goalie? It did not, they stood right on the stick. McKenzie's gonna stay on it. She took out her leg, that's a penalty, there we go. Move. Mia comes over to the right sideline. Natick was happy about that until the call went the other way. Good stop, Neve. Oh. All right, let's get back. All right, off an Natick stick. It's going. Uh, it's going to be a oh, white ball. White ball inside. In, yeah, in, in the field. It's gonna be. I think it went off the back of a stick. Good job getting the ball to me on the sidelines. 
Out of bounds. Red ball. I've been working on the youth players. When I say wide, I mean you could literally stand outside the uh, sidelines and get, <laughs> keep the ball in there. And that's, that's when we say wide, go wide. And that's what Mia did there. Red ball, construction <laughs> call. Can't, can't corral it, so it'll be a Belmont ball here on the sideline to start. Good play by Nina in the middle. She's, go, she's gone to it pretty hard a couple times this game. Oh, nice run, Mia. Oh, she found the back of Ryan's. The back of Ryan's foot. It was a nice hard ball, and Ryan didn't have her eyes on it. Not going to run by Elsie. Elsie brings it past midfield, finds Kendall on the left side. You got to go to that ball. Good aggressive I mean, play by Natick. Mackenzie's going to take that free ball over there on the football sideline at the 40 yard line. She's looking up. Get to it, and they'll just let that go out. Coming out for Nader. Coach Jess Smith pulling some strings here in the third quarter. Caroline's about to go in. Assistant Kara Benogian, and we have our JV coach here too. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> the girls call her Dodo. Uh, coach Doherty. Coach Doherty. She knows that too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they got three yes, three, yes she three, does. Three coaches on the sideline tonight. Nora is going to be entering the game as well. When their replacements are ready to come off, they'll just come off toward the sideline when they get a free free second. Belmont ball. Good job, Mia, letting it uh, go out after an edict touch. Neve is pushed up, tries to get a ball towards the circle. Intercepted, there you go. Anna's going to take this one. She took her mouth guard out to run. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as she nice. realized she did it, she put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played a sport where I used a mouth guard, so I, I couldn't imagine. I think you just get used to it. I think she she wanted to, to communicate. Yeah, maybe that's yeah. why. Kenzie's going to take this ball, goes towards the corner. That's a push. That's a push. Pretty intentional, too, if they're going to give Miz, uh, McKenzie a free ball outside. Not award a corner on that. She's going to bring it towards the middle. Can she get a backhand off here? She's going to try. Just wide. Just wide. Coming out and for Nadek. Kendall jumped over that one. He's going to take this on the far sideline. Halfway through the third. Well, they're not calling it out. You got to blow your whistle, guys. All right. Belmont ball. Good job playing to the whistle, LC. <laughs> I 
Still, all right, Belmont ball. Still Belmont ball. It's tough to see the ball on that side of the field with the glare off the lights. All the way across to Mia. Yep, that'll be uh, Belmont ball still. Mia's going to take this. Come on, get a ball in. Poked it out. It's Belmont ball. Coming in for Belmont. We got four folks with eyes on McKenzie right here. Yes, we do. Wow. Wow, she managed to keep that ball in. It looks like six now. <laughs> Intercepted going the other way. Neve is quick to recover. Gets around her and gets her stick on it. Stops that break from happening. Mackenzie's going to pick it up in a sea of red here. She's going to take it all the way across. Bring it in. Hard ball. Come on, find it. Uh, I think Ryan had a shot at that first, and then uh, Gigi had a, a marker on her. But Yeah, they neither, made, Natick made the play in the middle. They had a defender them. right in front. So it'll be a Belmont ball. Pretty close to the sideline where it went out of the end line there. Five minutes to go in the third. There we go. Gigi turns it around. Should play it. Corner. There we go. There we go. Good job. Nice work down there. Last couple of games, she's done a really good job of uh, winning corners if if she can't get through. Kids are talking about what they're going to run here. Gigi on the insert. It's going to McKenzie. Oh, you got space. Boom. Nice, nice. job. Great job. Great play. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Elsie just hit a nice one in to the right of the goalie and off a feed from G on the insert and an assist by McKenzie. Belmont goes up 2-0. Looks like McKenzie delayed that just a little bit. Drags some players to her. Elsie takes a shot. That's what you gotta, you gotta make them pay when everybody's focused on McKenzie. For Belmont. All right, awesome. Do we know Mackenzie uh, Clark just heard that Mackenzie tied the uh, scoring record for Belmont on, with that assist. So um, as, a, as a junior, she's a Andrew, junior, so a she, junior. she's got some time to go. So she's going to put uh, put some big numbers up. She had something like 40 goals this year. We'll try to get some more information on that. Yep, we're hearing that she just tied the scoring record as a junior. That's awesome. Mia's got the ball near the sideline here. Three minutes to go before the fourth final frame. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, they didn't call anything. There. I just I don't think they had the angle to make that call. Yeah. That's why. Good ball. Elsie Lakin Schultz with an assist from McKenzie Clark. Two assists. Looks like this is going to be Belmont ball over at the far sideline. Calling over the PA. Elsie's bringing it again. Oh, 
all across. He's going to get there. Oh, nice hustle, G. G. It was tripped by Nadek. G got up fine. It'll be Belmont ball. She hustled over there. She came from inside the circle. She, she did. She was moving. She was. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a miscue there by Mia. The, fa the fans were cheering for a big hit there, so uh, added to the humor a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's going to be Natick Ball on the sideline here. Yeah, they're going to be looking to put some pressure on with under a minute and a half left in the third. Finds a window. Nobody, oh, wow, got, found it. Got to six over here. Kill the clock here. Good job. Come on, Nina. Nina keeps it in. Nina keeps it in, and it's going to be Belmont Ball off a of, off of red. Oh. I no, uh, red it. ball. They're flipping it. Red ball. Under a minute, 55 seconds left to go. Oh, good job, Nina. You could stand out there for the last minute and just foul them over and over again. Elsie tosses good it point. out. That squirts past midfield, and uh, Nora's over there, and she's going to run it nice down the sideline. Get there. Push up the field. Get there. Let's go, Belmont. The 20 seconds to go. Let's get it in the circle here. We got yep. some interference there. We got 14 seconds left. No, uh, we're not going to no, get seconds, this off. Five seconds, it's not going to work. All right, there was a horn for the third quarter, so we got two-minute break and uh, back for the final 15 minutes with Belmont up 2-0. Let's go, Belmont. All right, here we go for the start of the fourth. Belmont's up 2-0. Both teams look pretty amped up here on the sidelines. Nadek's going to get the ball to start the fourth quarter. Looks like Coach Smith has all, well, not all of her starters in. Looks like Natalie is in at left mid. Giving Nina a little breather. Nina yeah, worked hard so. at the end of that yeah, quarter. She did. she did well over there on that far side. Elsie's going to let that go out. Coming out for Belmont. Winner of this game plays a winner of uh, Beverly and Andover that's happening tonight at 6 o'clock. So that game is just about getting underway. Pops up off of Kendall's stick, and they're going to give it back to Nadek. Red same, ball. Same. There we go. Good job, Mia. Mia, uh, nice help there. There we go. Neve's got this. Wide. Oh, off a Natick foot, good job. That'll be a Belmont free ball. Gigi's gonna step in and take that. Keeps it. Mia's playing, uh, G was playing high there. 
They get it. Oh yeah, nice yep. job, Mia. She's gonna find Elsie streaking in on the left side. Ball into good ball into Kendall. Into the circle. And it's gonna be off a red stick. It'll be white ball. Three, three on her, three on her immediately. Almost, almost. Twelve and a half to go in the last quarter here. Need to get a substitution in there. A oh, little Sw miscommunication there by the defenders. We just switched 11 in for 10, which uh, looks like a defense coming out and a forward going in for Natick. So they they do have to make up two goals in the next 12 minutes. And Elsie lets that one go, and it'll be Belmont ball coming out. Elsie's going to take this on the far side of the field. Finds Bryn, turns and finds, looks for Ryan. It's a nice ball by Bryn, though. Oh, Nadia's going to get a free ball right outside. That's, oh, just squirted past the Nadia stick. Coming out for Belmont. So we got her left foot out. I think it distracted the native player at least. Natick's definitely turned it up a notch here in the fourth quarter. They've, they've gotten off of McKenzie here. 17 is now free to roam. They can't be, uh, they can't be giving away defense for offense here. They do need to make up a couple. That's a big ball. Good job. G's on the run. Let's go, G. Come on, finish this. Yes! Where's the corner, man? Where? It looked like maybe she was pushed into the post. Pushed right into the post. Well, Belmont, it's gonna be Belmont ball coming out. That was a nice run, a big hit from McKenzie, and uh, G almost finished it. Got by the goalie. There we go, Nadek's gonna clear it wide. It'll be Belmont ball on the sideline here. And we got 10 minutes left. Oh, she's hitting the ball good today. Yeah, good ball, right into the circle. Nadek picks it up. Nadek ball. All right, defense, let's talk. We got more uh, more attack going on right now. Stay strong like they did all year. They'll be fine. This is number one who's bringing it up, center midfielder. She, uh, Liz Curley, captain. She hasn't seen the ball that much, but uh, that was a nice little run there. Oh, good job. Oh, G almost got it. Good battle, good battle. Red ball. That's all right. Everybody's everybody's defensive minded here right now. All the attack are back, helping out big time on a, on D. Yeah, nice. Nothing's going to come easy for Natick. Ryan's chasing down number seven here, right D, left D. Good ball. Good pass up the field. Okay, it'll be white, white ball. ball. Take take a pause here. All right, McKenzie's going to get the free ball and nail it in. Coming out for Natick. Looks like Natick wants a timeout. Looks like their coaches are calling a timeout. So with 8.35 left in the fourth quarter, Belmont's up 2-0, and Natick's going to take a timeout here. So we'll be back in a minute. All right. We got 10 out on the field right now, waiting for G to get out there, a little oh, there treatment. There she goes. Good, good. That was a nice run there. 
I think uh, she had a run in with the post. So That's what it looked like. Getting a little treatment. She'll be on it for the last eight and a half. And it's right. going to be Natick Ball at the top of the circle coming out. There the attack goes. Get in position. We got Avery Reinold in on the left inner. Yeah, Avery's in. Oh, yes, she is. Excellent. Yep. Avery's in the game. Come on, G. And we have eight and a half minutes after that timeout to go. Oh, there we go. Okay. They're just going to let it. All right, advantage. Let it go. Yeah. No trip there. Gets it back to Elsie. Gets it in the circle. Nice pop up. Ooh, just Ooh. wide. Tipped it. Somebody tipped it, but it went just wide. I think that went off Ryan. Ryan popped it up and got it going towards the net. Uh, talk, 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 guys. Good job. Go wide, Neve. Neve, you got to get wide. Nada gets a ball back. She needs some help from some of the midfielders. There we go. Down the sideline and pushed out by Red. That'll be white ball. On the run, intercepts it. McKenzie recovers nicely. Gets the ball out wide. That's good ball. Natalie on the far side. Just going down the left sideline. Natick tried to box her in. She gets rid of it. Kendall's picking it up. There we go. Good job, Anna. Good job. All right, nice everybody movement. back, everybody back. Yeah, Let's that, go. That was some nice movement in the middle of the field by Natick. It was. It's six and a half minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Red ball. So that penalty was on the other side of the field, and they were waiting to see what happened with that ball before they gave advantage. We got uh, Nora coming in for Kendall. I think she's going to rotate these uh, forwards in the last last couple minutes just so everybody's fresh and is going to hound the midfield as much as they can. That's popped up off a red stick. Oh, gee, great job. She's down in the corner. Throws it to the sideline. Oh, good, good defense, Elsie. Didn't let her turn around and shoot that. Coming and, out for Belmont. Oh, that's a great play. Looks like Natalie Merrow's coming out. Nina's going back in. Big ball down the sideline. That's going to run for a while. Wow, it's going to go all the way. Ooh, looks like it just missed the end line. I'm not sure where. They're giving it up at the 40. Okay. That's wild. Elsie's got something in that stick today, man. She's hitting <laughs> those balls hard. She is. So with the five minute mark in the fourth quarter. We're gonna give that to Nadick. Nice poke check. Recover. Advantage red. Huh. All right, just outside the circle. Nina's going to take uh, defend ball here. A lot of instructions from coach right there. Yep. It's the loudest I've heard of him all year. <laughs> Told G to make sure he kept our eye on number seven closest to us. That ball's popping out. G's going to take it. There you go. Good job. Send it down. Try to find a foot there, actually. Neve steps up. Uh, they're going to give that to Nader. Dangerous ball. Good 
Good job, Anna. Avery's taking it. All right, red ball. Kenzie's trying to find some space to hit a ball. Defense is pushing up pretty far here. That's seven, the left defender who intercepted that ball. And they just awarded a corner there. So with uh, less than three and a half to go, this is gonna be the first corner of the game for Nadick. Seventeen will be taking the ball. No, nope, that's three. Everybody is up. Awesome. Furthest, uh, furthest native player back is at the thirty-five. Elsie's charging it. Nice. Neve got her stick on it. Good job. Balls out. Nice clear. Good play. We're under three minutes now. Good job, Belmont. And Nadek is certainly on the move. That's going to be out on red, and it's white ball. Yeah, coming out for Belmont. Belmont needs to get this ball across the 50. Finds Mia wide on the sideline here. Lost it out. That's okay, Mia. Turn around and defend here. You're good. Two minutes to go. Two and two twenty. Sending it in, and Belmont. Everybody's going to let that go, and coming out Elsie's for Belmont. going to chase that. 100% effort. Go chase that ball down. We're under two minutes now. Nate has got some nice support going on here. Cheering them on for these last two. Keep it up. That'll be McKenzie. Belmont ball. That goes high off the stick. Five. Belmont, yeah. Five yards. All right, we're going to redo that, I think, is what's going on here. Yes. So uh, the defender there didn't give McKenzie five yards on a free ball, so we're going to redo it. Nice aerial down the sideline. Can anybody get to it? Almost. Nope. Ref helps him out. Good job. Down to a mi we're down to a minute in the fourth quarter here. Stay up. Here we go. Neve intercepts it. All right. That's a penalty. Belmont ball. Nice little zipper here. Good job. All right, Mia. Belmont ball. Belmont ball. We're going to restart here. Mackenzie will take Mia. Take that restart off of, off of Natick foot. Make him move it in. And so McKenzie will restart here on the numbers. And that'll be Belmont ball coming in with 20 seconds to go. And uh, Belmont's going to wrap it up here. Yeah, I think Natick just put some seniors in here for the last minute of the game. So we're going to run it out in the corner. Belmont's going to advance the round of eight to play the winner of Andover and Beverly. Uh, that's happening tonight in Andover. If Andover wins, we'll be going to Andover some point. And uh, if Beverly pulls off an upset, then we'll be hosting them here at uh, Belmont High School. So great job, Belmont. That's the game. 2 nothing win for Belmont over Natick in the round of 16. Great win. Way to go, Belmont. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you again, but uh, we'll be cheering loud for these girls one way or the other. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you.